So on Monday, May 6th, I posted this video. And I thought that was like the best video I've posted because I've never caught a bass that big. And you know, I was going crazy. I couldn't believe it. Got him. Oh, it's a huge freaking bass. Oh my goodness. This is PB. <laughs> that is sick. Look at that. And that's all that's been on my mind for the past like three days until this happened. There's something. Oh, this is a big one. Oh my God. Yeah, this is a big one. Oh shit. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh yeah, it's a big one. <laughs> Might be a PB. Holy shit, this is a PB. Oh my god, what the f? What the f? We gotta get the scale out right now. God, dude. Yo, we hit six. It, it's it's at six. Yes, six pounder. Let's go. So those of you who've been watching for a little bit now or know me in real life know that I don't scream and yell a lot or sing at all, but this was something to scream, yell, and sing about. I still can't even believe it happened. In three days, I broke two personal bests. That fish weighed in at six pounds and I got it on a wacky rigged Senko. And I think that, that that last video I said the smartest thing I've honestly ever said. I think it would be smarter to maybe throw like a wacky worm or something. Because the fish, it seemed like they didn't really want the top water. I don't think anything can resist the wacky worm Sanko. Yeah, so the reason I thought that the, the weightless wacky rig would be the best option for this kind of fishing is because the bottom of my lake is a mess. There's brush, rocks, stumps, everything. And it would just be impossible to throw something on the bottom because I would just be getting hung up constantly. So that was kind of out of the question. You could throw a jerk bait, but then there's a bunch of trees that grew, so, and I, I couldn't see them. It would probably get hung up. So anything in the middle of the water column was pretty much out, out of the picture. So you could only throw basically top water and some kind of a weightless soft plastic that would just float and maybe slowly sink. And I chose the wacky rig because it does exactly that. And I was crushing fish all day and you'll see a different video on that. I'll explain it in depth. And one other thing I noticed is that the bass finally have pushed up into the shallows. This is like a colder water lake, so it takes a while to warm up. And this isn't even the biggest fish I saw today. I saw probably a seven or eight pounder. It was cruising alongside a smallmouth I had on earlier. That's exciting to see because I'll be out there like once it once it clears up, it's freaking nasty out right now. So I doubt you even were even able to see that, but it's raining, windy, and I don't want to be on the boat out there. I'll probably go like trout fishing today. I still can't believe we caught two PBs in three days. Yeah, we'll let Nick from the other day do the outro. Wow, I was thinking like, imagine finishing it off with that, a freaking six pounder. I was talking about the six pounder before. 
if you take enough casts, good stuff is gonna happen, I guess. But that's all we got. Hope you learned something, and I'll see you out there tomorrow. Go catch some fish. Peace.